Hey, welcome to another episode of Take Five for Foodies. Now, in the past few, we have visited Seasons 52, Postino, uh, Tapas Papa Frida, some pretty upscale dining. And we're certainly not going to stop now because, ladies and gentlemen, this is the location for our next dining adventure. Welcome to the posh, gorgeous, short leash, mobile hot dog eatery. And this is the guy on the other end of the short leash at the mobile hot dog eatery, Brad Moore. Listen, I gotta tell you on a personal basis, I have broad ranging tastes in what I enjoy on a given day, a lunch, an evening, but I always love hot dogs. Do you find that that's generally true? Yes, I'm an avid connoisseur of hot dogs myself. Well, you better be, yes. uh, because you decided how many years ago to get in the hot dog business? Uh, a year and a half it's been. You know, usually when you're talking about the restaurants that I mentioned before, it's easy to say, this is the address, this is the location, make a reservation. Right. Where are you? We move around. We're, we're primarily in the central Phoenix area, but the best place to track us is uh, via social media. We use Facebook, Twitter. We always post our schedule online. So you really have to be kind of dialed into the social media aspect to kind of track our whereabouts. But we're pretty consistent on a weekly basis. So, so part, of the, part of the fun will not only be enjoying the menu at Short Leash, but also participating in the game of where is Brad? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of got a scavenger hunt element to it a little bit. So. All right. But then it means, though, to me, and, and we really do try to offer the audience of uh, Take Five for Foodies as broad ranging a variety of choices. I want them to be able to go out and eat wherever they want, whatever they want. Mm -hmm. But why would they track you down in particular when there are so many places to buy hot dogs? I think what we do is truly unique. Um, you know, most people think of a hot dog as just, you know, what you get at a ballpark or, you know, something simple and straightforward. But I think- The weenie in a bun, and, uh, and two or three different choices of things on top, right? Right, right. What we've really tried to do with our business is create, you know, a hot dog completely different than anybody else's. You know, we use um, a local company called Shriners Fine Sausages for all of our meats. They've been around for years. Absolutely. We offer five different types of meat plus a veggie dog. We do ours a little different. We serve it on an Indian-style flatbread instead of a bun. And we have about 25 different topping options. You can go in there and you can get crazy and create your own. Yeah, but people from the time that they're kids. They said, no, 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 no. I like mustard, relish, and onions. Boom, that's it. And don't try to sell anybody on the idea of changing their hot dog taste. You're not only, you're not only changing all the toppings and offering, what, something like 20? Yeah, I think we have close to 24 toppings. But you're putting it on something that is not a hot dog bun. How dare but, you, sir? I know. And, you know, with the reason I chose the flatbread, my, my wife and I kind of deliberated over this, but it honestly just stems from my personal pet peeve of hot dog buns. You know, you... <laughs> what, what? What is it that you've got against? <laughs> well, you, you put a hot dog on a <laughs> bun and you load it up with the two or three toppings, like you said, and you take one bite and that bun just inevitably falls apart. You know, the hot all dog right. and all the toppings just fall right out. I've already told you I'm a fan of the hot dogs in general, and I'm certainly a fan of the ones that I've read on your menu. Describe just what makes you a different hot dog purveyor. Other than the bread itself. The bread, you said mm -hmm. the Shriners sausage, yep. but talk about the, the specialty hot dogs that you offer. Okay. So on our menu, we have basically five signature topping combinations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those are stem anywhere from the, like the lady. It's got fried pickles, sautéed onions, and chipotle cream cheese. Um, we do another one called the Ico. It's a, uh, it's a mango chutney. We make it ourselves. And it's topped with just a little bit of uh, fresh cilantro, some jalapenos, and a little drizzle of mayonnaise. I'm just picturing being at Talking Stick. As good as those folks are mm -hmm. about the refreshments that they have and the vendors that they have. Excuse me, sir, I'll take a hot dog with mango chutney <laughs> and chipotle, you know. That's a good way to get a bat up the side of the head. Uh, a couple more. Um, the um, Igby is my personal favorite. The it's, Igby? Mm -hmm, it's coleslaw, blue cheese, and barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. And now you it's deal on a regular basis with local vendors, uh, not just Absolutely. Shriners and not just the bakery. Right. We also deal with some of the local farms for our produce. Um, we try and keep it as local-centric as we can. What about the sides? 
Um, you know, we really use uh, Mrs. Klein's for quite a few of our sides, for our pickles, our sauerkraut, jalapenos, pepperoncinis. So, you know, we, we, again, we try and source as many things locally as we can. And, and you mentioned fried pickles. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had them, not at your place, I've had fried pickles, with, and they're surprisingly good and surprisingly different than pickles. Yes. And we do our pickles a little different. We actually, um, we take a whole pickle and we slice it so it's a nice thick half-inch slab. And then what we do is we let those marinate in for about a week in jalapenos and uh, sugar. Looks so to it's me got like, a little bit of a sweet, a little bit of spice But to it, it looks to me like bread that we're going to spend a great deal of time trying now to track down where the mobile yes. hot dog eatery is. And where do we find it? Where do we, where do we go? The, the beginning of the adventure of finding Brad and Cats. The easiest place is if you just go to our website, shortleashhotdogs.com. There's a calendar button. Just click on that. And I always keep our calendar posted about a month in advance. Besides you participating in the glamour of television that's like right. this, what does Kat do? She, um, she's an interior designer by trade. That's what her prior profession is. But now we've been able to dedicate ourselves full-time to this. So and you? She is actually the chef, chef extraordinaire. She's the one that comes up with all these wonderful you know, topping combinations. Her background is an interior designer. And yours? Banking. Mm -hmm. See, I love that because <laughs> that immediately says to everybody out there who just simply has been bored through the day with yeah. what they do, Wait a minute, if a banker and an interior designer can get together and create a restaurant on wheels, a mobile hot dog eatery like this, hmm, maybe I should go into the food and beverage business, huh? Yeah. yeah. The, the possibilities are endless. Like, for example, Short Leash, the mobile hot dog eatery. Uh, by the way, it seemed only appropriate yes. that we not have wine under these circumstances. And you have cold beverages, not necessarily this well-known, but unique. Yes, we carry a whole line of kind of old-school vintage sodas from pretty, pretty hard-to-find places like Faygo, Linenade, a bunch of unique um, different types of carbonated beverages. Better track these guys down. Yeah, please hey, do. life on a short leash, here's to you. And this has been another edition of Take 5 for Foodie. I'm Pat McMahon.